I was at RC Motorhomes last year looking at one of their new motorhomes and they had the biggest, most expensive motorhome they've ever built actually in build. Now these things take about a year to build and I said to Richard, please let me have a look at that one when we finished it and good as his word, he's called me up and said, it's all done, come and see it. So I'm gonna give you a full tour of this. It's a very, very special vehicle. We're gonna look at the inside, the outside, and I'm gonna show you a very special surprise right at the end. So stick with me, come and see this, because it is magnificent. So we'll head inside first of all. So the big news in here is just how much space you get. This is the main saloon area or the lounge area. And this vehicle has four slide outs. Now slide outs are these things on the side. This whole section here, when you're motoring the vehicle, it slides in. So the wall is basically here and this all moves in. But when you're stopped, you can power that out. It's all hydraulic and you've got this much extra space in here. And that really does increase the volume in here massively. That's really impressive. There's a big skylight overhead. We'll come to that because that's also quite interesting. But what I'm going to do, I think, is head to the front first of all and we'll work our way back. Now, this looks like they've swiveled the driver and passenger seat around. In fact, they haven't. Those are up here. So you've got two rows of seating effectively. So when you're driving the vehicle, four people can all sit up here with proper captain's chairs, seat belts and everything else. That's really nice. And we come right to the front. This is the management system. Now this is repeated in a couple of places and I'm going to show you that when we get towards the end of the tour. This is a 360 camera system. So when you're maneuvering, every aspect of the outside of the vehicle can be seen on there. And then of course, this is where you drive it from. You do need an HGV license to drive these because obviously it's a pretty serious piece of kit in terms of its size and weight. So let's head on back through and I will give you the full tour. These are electric blinds that go up, so you've got windows on the outside of there. I love the lighting that they've put into here. That's really trick. And there's some nice touches as well. Like for example, you see where it's got the RC logo on here. If I drop my phone onto there, it charges it. That's rather cunning. All the 240 volt sockets have also got USBs in. You can see that just there. And if we head on back a little bit further, this is the kitchen area or the galley. And again, this has the slide out. So that moves right out and gives a load more space in here. Again, you can use this when the slide out is in because you still have plenty of floor space, but you can see how this would move across to here, for example. The whole thing just comes in a little bit. It's very well equipped. This is a cooker tap, so it's hot and cold, but also boiling water. You can make a cup of tea straight from that. Your sink is underneath it. There's a bin over here. Again, tons of storage about the place. A Miele induction hob, and there's a Miele oven on that side, and even a dishwasher. And then behind me is the fridge freezer. Now, if we head on back again, this door will take us through to the bathroom. So toilets on that side. You've got an infinity sink. And then in behind here, is the shower really good size it's electrically controlled from here but look how big that is proper luxury isn't it very very nice and then behind here is the bedroom now there is a door that slides across so you can have privacy here of course like so and this again benefits from one of those slide outs so this whole section here moves out when you're parked and that's what gives you so much space in here. It's absolutely huge for a motorhome. It's incredible. This is all storage along here. There's a little dressing table area just here. And then this is illuminated wardrobe. And just tons of storage about the place. all over and these are particularly like these are little pop-out lamps so you just do that and swivel them and that's your reading lamp nifty some lovely upholstery in here as well really nicely done there's a big skylight in here this has got the day screen over it so you've just got it's like a little mosquito net type of thing but there's also a blackout screen that will go across that's all electric I'll show you how that's controlled in a moment it's a huge TV in here on the wall 
And if we head on back, this takes us back to the bathroom. And this takes us back out. I will show you the control systems because they're actually pretty interesting. But it's vast, isn't it? You almost forget you're in a motorhome. It's absolutely incredible. So this is the control system. Now this is controlled from that screen up on the dash. When you're motoring, you can control it from here. But there's also an iPad controller that's down there, which means wherever you are in the vehicle, or even outside of the vehicle, you can control all these things. So if we go to the home screen, I'll just show you this very quickly. These are your tanks, so fresh water, grey water, black water, and LPG. You can see your AC power and your solar power. There's solar panels on the roof. But we can also go into a power centre that gives you a lot more information. That's your solar power. There's a generator on the vehicle as well, so you can run your 240 volt from there, or of course you can hook up to power at a site. This is the lounge area. These are these slide outs. So the passenger side and the driver side are these two. So you can actually stand outside the vehicle and control them, or you can do it from in here. The roof blind, this is what I mean by the roof blind. So you can see that powering across. And as I say, that's the same in the bedroom. Let's just drop that back. But as well as that, then you can push another button here and you can see how that tilts up for some fresh air. But beyond that, again, you can power the whole thing back so you can get loads of air and light into here with that completely open. That's really nice. What else have we got on here? Let's take us into the kitchen area. So again, you can control the slide out and the blinds are all electric on here as well. Same for the bedroom. Slide out is over on this one. And your roof window opens in the same way and the blinds come across it very, very similar. And actually, there's one other thing I'll show you, which is Saloon TV. If we hit this button here, that's a TV that rises out of there. So if you want to watch a bit of TV in the evening, you can do. Anyway, let's go and take a look at the outside because that's also pretty impressive. And as I mentioned, something very, very special right at the end. So these steps that I'm walking down, they're hydraulic, so they fold away. You just pull the handrail out and they retract into the vehicle. There's also a huge sun blind up here as well. That's a seven meter blind. And it extends out almost four meters and you can see, hopefully, but it's all got lighting all built into it around here and along there. So at night that just illuminates this area really nicely. The whole vehicle is based on a Volvo FH chassis. It's got things like rear wheel steering, for example. There are hydraulic jacks all the way around so you can raise it up and level it when you're stopped. And then if you come around to the front, you can see just what an amazing looking vehicle this is. It's got a 540 horsepower turbo diesel engine so it's got plenty of power to move this around it's quite a machine isn't it let's come on around this side so now you can see the slide outs one two three down this side these are big storage areas in behind here so you can get things out of the way without bringing them into the vehicle if you want to and that does look rather impressive you get a real sense of the size of it from here but the thing i most wanted to show you that's round at the back come and check this out this is the garage yep you can actually park a car in here this is an aerial atom there are ramps that slide out underneath here there's also a winch so that you can winch it in and out and side access as well so you can get to the vehicle easily and this means that when you get to where you're going you can park up drop your aerial atom out and go and have some fun that's incredible absolutely incredible so there it is the rc12m huge thanks to richard churchill of rc motorhomes for sorting out that tour for me and huge thanks to you guys for watching it we look forward to catching you on some more motorholic very soon